also save money by working out and doing yoga at home. Here's Melissa McLeod with Serenity and Strength. For this exercise, a ball pass, it's really important that you're very strong in your abdominals the whole time so you're not pushing through low back pain. So before you go anywhere, feel that you're drawing your low belly back, so a couple inches below your belly button, and you're gathering up the muscles of your pelvic floor, so the muscles at the base of the pelvis. Once you feel like you've got this connection, now you can push the ball up and take the ball in between your feet. Feel how your ribs are drawing down, maintain that connection, and just try a few times to take your arms back behind you and then bring them above you. So you should be able, be able to do this without popping your ribs up off the floor. And if you do pop your ribs up, make your range of motion a little bit smaller. Once you feel like you've got this, you can start to add the legs into it. You're gonna take the ball in between the hands, the arms extend out back behind you, legs just a tiny bit. Bring the ball back in, switch it back into the legs, legs extend out. But I'm not popping my ribs up off the floor, staying strong through the core, and not pushing through low back pain. Because we're holding the ball in between our legs, we're strengthening our inner thighs because you have to squeeze it. Because the arms and the legs are moving away from the body, we're engaging the core. Once this is complete for you, come to the front of your mat and extend one leg back behind you to stretch out your hips. You can keep your back knee up or you can drop it down. Try to square your hips up to the top of your space. So that means your front hip comes back a little bit and your back hip comes a little bit forward. The tailbone's still dropping down. You're still trying to stay a little bit connected in your core muscles, so your pelvic floor muscles and your abdominal muscles. Switch legs. Drop the shoulders. Keep breathing. To strengthen your abdominals, do this ball pass exercise as many times as you safely can, so not pushing through low back pain. It doesn't matter how many reps you do as long as it's safe. Try that for three sets with a break in between each time. Do that about three times a week. As many times as you need to in the week, stretch your hips out with that lunge. It helps release through the hip creases, which get tight because we sit so much. Bring your hands together at prayer position. Let your head drop down. Thank yourself for taking this time out of your day. Thank your body for all its hard work. Namaste. Such a great